This is a patch rundown of patch 11.22 for League of Legends, the final patch before the end of the season. Ranked rewards will be distributed in the next patch, 11.23, so stay tuned for those in early December. For champions, Akali's passive damage is increased, notably in her AP percentage ratio, which is increased from 40% to 55% of her AP. Graves' damage, however, and his passive is reduced from 30% bonus AD to 20% bonus AD. Callista E damage ratio is increased from 60% AD to 70% AD. For Kane, you'll see that his Darken Q damage ratio and his Darken R target max health damage ratio are both increased. For further knowledge better than I could explain it in the short amount of time that I have, please see the information on your screen. Kha'Zix, his Q damage ratio is reduced both in total and when he's isolated. Maokai, his passive heal is reduced early by 2%, and his W base damage is also reduced by 10 at all levels. Kiana's base health is reduced from 590 to 520, but her base heal growth was increased from 90 to 110. Her E, however, was buffed in its base damage later on in the game by 40, but its bonus AD was reduced by 20%. Renekton, his W stun and lockout durations increased, so his empowered stun is going to be a half a second longer, and his lockout duration is going to be 0.525 seconds. Riven's W base damage is increased by 10 at all levels. The bonus AD percentage, however, is not changed. The shield from her E, the ratio is increased from 100% bonus AD to 120% bonus AD. Varus. E damage ratio increased. It's increased from 60 bonus AD to 90 bonus AD. Whoa. Vi. Q and R improvements for consistency. For further knowledge better than I could explain it in the short amount of time that I have, please see the information on your screen. Yumi. Her E heal and movement speed ratio is decreased. Her movement speed ratio is decreased by 4% per 100 AP, and her heal is reduced by 5% of her bonus AP, as well as the base heal in later levels. The only item changes that we have in this patch are Gore Drinker. It's actually a buff to Gore Drinker's health by increasing the base health by 50 and the Omnivamp up to 10%. There you have it, that is the complete patch note rundown of 11.22. A lot shorter, but it's the end of the season. Excited to see what the new season brings, and excited to get those sweet, sweet ranked rewards for getting all the way to Gold 4.